Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name's Kristen, and we are on our third video of matching my Starbucks cuts to my eye makeup. So here we go. Today, obviously, I'm doing pink. You see this eye's done, and I'm gonna do the other. I'm starting with my Brow Contour Pro. And you can see here my eyebrows already done, but I swear it was like way lower and way bigger than the other one. So I just decided to redo it. And here's me brushing up my eyebrow here so I can redo it. And like, honestly, I started to redo it again and it still looked like my eyebrow was like, <laughs> seriously like half an inch lower than the other one. I don't know what's going on. So I drew a line from the bottom of one eyebrow to the other just so I can make them even. And then I did the same to the top. And then I drew them on again. And then after I drew them on again, I realized that it was wrong. <laughs> so I literally like wiped it all off again. And by this point, I was like, I'm about to wipe all of this makeup off my face because I'm so irritated, so irritated. But I didn't, I went ahead and I redid it, but I took out all the footage because I was just so irritated. So here is my gimme brow. I'm just going ahead and setting my eyebrows with that. Next, I'm going in with my concealer and for cover FX, and I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up my eyebrows. Okay, so when I clean up my eyebrows, you'll notice that I only do the bottom cleaning up. Um, I like to go back in with my foundation and clean up the top when I figure out which foundation I'm using. So that's why you never see me actually cleaning up the top of my eyebrows, but you should do that too. Okay, so here I'm just using that same concealer that I usually use on my eyelids. So I can, um, you know, go ahead and make this color pop. I like to use the lightest shade of concealer that I can find and this concealer is like really really good for doing eyeshadow looks because it dries down like semi powdery and really really matte so it just works really well it helps the eyeshadows blend better okay so all of the shadows I'm using come from this little palette called ooh la la from ColourPop the first shade that I'm using is called Sandbar. It's this really, really bright, happy pink. I love pink. I love this look. It looks like a little Barbie look. I freaking am obsessed with it. But anyway, I'm taking this color really, really close to my nose. And then I'm coming up and around on top of where my eyelid creases. I wanna, you wanna be like right above that. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm just gonna wing that out. Okay, so before I wing it all the way out, I want to come up from the corner of my eye and bring that out as far as I want it to go. And then I'm going to go back to the other side and connect both of those. It just makes it easier to figure out where you want to draw the lines. So I'm going to go in with this color called Poodle right here and just put that right above the color that I just did. I'm going to go all the way around and underneath where I put it. I just want to have a more blurred out look. Even though I want this look to be super, super pink, I'm going to go back in with the other pink after this. But I don't know why I like to do this. It just makes it look better to me. Okay, so after I've blended all that out, I'm going in with that same concealer that I used earlier on my eye and I'm just going to go ahead and clean up this area. Normally you'll see that I clean it up with um, makeup remover first, but since I'm going to be putting pink in that area, it doesn't bother me if the concealer turns pink. Now we're going in with this color called Trove. I think it's called Trove. 
I don't know what that is or what that means. But anyway, <laughs> so we're gonna go in with that shade and we're gonna go ahead and fill in the whole entire area that I just cleaned up with concealer. I'm just using a flat, I'm pretty sure this is actually a small concealer brush, but it works really good for like shimmery shadows. This color right here called Tickled, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my corner. I like to um, highlight my inner corner, especially if I used like the same, like a monotone type color. And here you can see me going back through with that sandbar hot pink color and I'm just making sure that the it stands out more. Using whatever was extra on the brush from my um, concealer earlier, I'm just going to go ahead and run that under my eye because I'm going to go ahead and put the two pink colors that I used in my crease. So here I'm using the stand bar and putting that underneath first. And then after that, I'm going to take the fluffier brush and put that color, uh, what is it called, poodle right on top of it. I'm gonna line my eyes with this infallible liner, my least favorite part of doing my makeup, but it just looks, I don't know, it looks better to me, so I have to do it. I just have to. It hurts my eyes though. I can't stand it. <laughs> and then we're gonna just do a small line underneath. Don't wing it all the way out. I just wanna kinda of cover the lash band as much as I possibly can without like, you know, covering up my whole look. I'm gonna throw on these lashes called Thrill Seeker. I can't think of the company right now but I will have all of the stuff that I used in the description box. And then I'm done. Oh no, I'm putting on mascara, <laughs> I totally forgot. So go ahead and hit your lashes with some mascara, top and bottom. And that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna show you guys the face makeup in these videos, just the eye makeup. See, there it is. Love the Barbie pink, I love it, I'm obsessed. I hope you guys liked this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.